Welcome, pen friends. This is Tom with Goldspot Pens. I am joined here at Pelican headquarters in Germany with Jens Meyer, the global marketing manager of Pelican. And uh, we are here to discuss Jens's top five favorite limited editions. We broke these out of the Pelican safe here, and we wanted to look at the uh, five choice selections of pens that are out of this world as far as their designs, the material choices, uh, their rareness, but uh, Jens had picked five of them for us and he's going to describe why each of the five pens are special. Okay, well thanks, first of all thanks for, for coming to Germany to visit us. Um, so as you can see it's quite a large selection of limited and special editions we have here, so I try to focus on the limited editions and to pick um, five very special ones. Um, to begin with, um, we have here the Blue Ocean. It's the first limited edition that Pelican ever produced. It was produced in 1993, and it's uh, sort of the, the start of the whole idea of limited and special editions. Uh, very well known and very famous among collectors. Mm -hmm. um, has a blue transparent material uh, and a regular, it's an M800 based pen uh, with a regular two-tone nib, so um, that's from 1993. Then um, following the order of launches, um, the next one is the limited edition 1000 Years of Austria. I think it was in 1996, I'm not ex absolutely sure. Um, it's a, as far as I know, it's a pen that is interesting for collectors because uh, it's really, really hard to find. Um, it's uh, in a very special bright red and it has a, a metal barrel which uh, has this lacquering here and taking up the design of the Austrian flag with red and white and red. Right. Um, it gives a lot of weight to the pen. Um, it's also based on the M800. And there was only a thousand of those maybe? There were a thousand produced at the time, yes. And still it's very, very difficult to find this pen as far as I know. Mm -hmm. um, then we have out of the um, series Originals of Their Time, that was uh, in the late 90s that Pelican produced several uh, vintage pens, reproduced the pens um, really in the same way they were produced uh, in the 1930s. Right. And um, uh, there was a collection of six pens. And this one, in my eyes, is a very special one because it's the limited edition um, in white gold, so it's a, it's a pen that has a, a cap and a barrel plated with white gold material and a special guilloche engraving uh, and then this very special small size which was typical for the pens in the 1930s, right. which we also still find in our regular um, M101N special editions that we're producing every two years. Like the... Like the, yes, the tortoise shell, for example, or the lizard. Um, but they are a little bit different. If you check, it's the, it's the end of the pen that's a little bit different. The cap looks quite similar, but it's even smaller, this one, than the M101 N. So it's really, really small. That's, but that's white gold, it's gorgeous. Yes, it's really very, very special. And then we had the pen that was produced for the 75th anniversary of the um, patent for the piston mechanism. So right. this year we are celebrating the 90th anniversary uh, with a limited edition Herzstück 1929. Mm -hmm. And um, 15 years ago we produced this, this special pen. It was only produced in 75 pieces uh, with a lot of uh, gold material, especially the, the piston, which you can also look at inside the, uh, the barrel and the barrel itself um, made of uh, gold material and then special engravings on the cap. If you look, you can see the 75 is engraved all over the cap and also all over the grip section. Uh, it was sold at an RP of 7,500 euros uh, 15 years ago, so it was one of the most expensive limited editions we have ever launched, if we do not count the Maki E products, which we also right. sell from time to time. And um, finally, from my point of view, the most spectacular limited edition that we ever produced was the first uh, model of the Seven Wonders of the World. It's mm -hmm. the limited edition uh, of the Pyramids of Gizeh. Very special because uh, 
it has a, a long cap that covers the complete body of the pen so you unscrew here and then the cap goes all over the pen it's uh, gold with uh, engraving with hieroglyphs uh, on the on the cap and then you have a motif on the on the pen itself showing the pyramids and it has at the end of the pen has a little acrylic bubble and inside you can see like the a little, little pyramid, pyramid that's inside, yeah. uh, with a stone material that was uh, uh, brought in from, from Egypt so there's a lot of uh, uh, story here and a very special clip also taking up the design making it really a special pen and uh, I remember the the decoration of the pen at the time and also the packaging was really, really impressive. So from my point of view, that's the most uh, spectacular limited edition of Pelican when it comes to uh, unique design, I would say. I know that you had mentioned that the 75th anniversary was 7,500 euro when it came yes, out. This being the most opulent design in the, in the pyramids of, uh, of Egypt here, what was this you going for when it was out? Of initially when it was released? It was released um, uh, for a price of uh, 3,000 euros at the time mm -hmm. with a total production of 445 pieces. That is that is quite the collection and then if I assume that you were to have to insure this entire case it would probably be a pretty penny for the insurance company to make sure that. That's, that's correct, we keep it. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's under strict safe, lock and key. <laughs> control, that's right. But, uh, but that is quite the, the top five and quite the collection if you were to actually carry it with you and use them on a frequent basis. Yeah, it's, it's more, I, I tried to select uh, or to make a selection that shows the different uh, ways of limited edition that we have uh, done over the years. So mm -hmm. uh, some of them are based on a, on a standard product, which then was sort of upgraded. Uh, if we take the, the pyramids, it's really special. It's a completely new design. Right. And also the originals of their time. Here we reproduced historical products, so or vintage products, which makes it also very interesting because uh, we tried to be as close as possible to the original from 1931 when the, when the product was launched. So it's not just a mere, um, oh, well, let's just make a new edition and you know, do it in green. Like, well, this is, this is more of that where it's, you're taking a standard product, the 805, and then you're, you have a translucent barrel. But in the cases of, let's say this, it's, it's completely a different design altogether right. that had yes. to be, there's, there's handmade elements, there's uh, different tooling that's involved that has to go in the creation of each of the parts that is not part of the standard line and is only used for the, the limited edition. Correct. It's, uh, th these parts uh, have never been used uh, afterwards and, and we will never use the parts or, or tools again because of course this is a limited edition. Every piece is numbered and uh, we uh, cannot uh, produce more products than the official numbers that we uh, have announced. So yeah. that's very important. Each product comes with a certificate, with a warranty uh, card. So. Um, it's really special and um, therefore we make sure that uh, it's only out in, in the number that uh, it was of officially announced. Very cool. Well, I appreciate you showing us this entire collection. It's, it's truly exquisite yeah. and it's something that I would expect being that we're here at uh, Pelican in Germany here, that we, that we would see something that is incredibly rare and special like this. So we're looking forward to showing everybody at, at home uh, more of these processes and more of uh, uh, what is, is here that is truly so special in, in uh, Pelican's headquarters here. Okay. But I appreciate you guys tuning in and uh, as always, stay inky my friends. Take care.